Hello friends, here's a new tutorial and today we will learn how to work with the character select menu in our fighting game created with the Unreal Engine and the True FGE. The character select menu is now included into the True Fighting Game Engine package and let's figure out how to deal with this new functionality. As you may know, I have also started another tutorial series on how to create a basic UE5 fighting game without using the true fighting game engine. So you can check it out if you are not planning for now to build a production ready game. Let me remind the true fighting game engine is my project for Unreal Engine that allows you to create your own AAA class fighting games. You can easily add attacks, combos and hit animations, import characters based on any skeletons and create either single player or multiplayer fighting games. You can check out my other tutorials in this playlist to learn how to do all of this. And with the true fighting game engine you can create either Mortal Kombat style or Tekken style games depending on your needs. You can find the link to the project in the description below this video. And now let's start. Alright, so let's begin. To operate with our character select menu, we should open our content drawer and navigate to content, true FG, UI, and the newly created folder named main menu. And we should open the character select map. Why this map uh, what has been created? First of all, we should have a map for our menu. And second, we want to create uh, thumbnails for our characters. So on, on this, we add all existing characters and capture them using the scene capture component 2D. Realizing, I believe in one of the next releases, I will change this to spam all the actors, all the characters automatically. But for now, we just add them manually this map and how does it look you see i open the i run the game and let's select a character for the left character and the right character sorry for the design i think i will improve this menu from the design point of view so i have selected the mannequin ue4 as the left player and many as the right player and i press start and you see it does work right so I quit the game and to show you how to get a newly created character with the character select menu it is really easy i have created a new a brand new character so in our content drawer let's navigate to the through fg get demo characters and i have created a character with name yellow spider here to be honest i have just created a new folder name and named it yellow spider and i have duplicated my ue4 my default UE4 mannequin character and all I did I have changed its material to yellow and the most important part I have set the character name it will be using today and we will use it today so I have changed the character name for from the mannequin UE4 to yellow spider right and I saved and compiled it there is a separate tutorial for this so you can check it out for adding a new character. And now all we need to do we have opened the character select map. Now we navigate to our yellow spider folder and we drag and drop the new character to the map. The only thing we need to do we should select the render target and the texture for it. It will be captured automat automatically so we just want to create a couple of assets to do so we navigate to the true fg blueprints render targets folder and first thing we do we duplicate any of these render targets let's duplicate this mannequin ue4 rt i just select it and duplicate and for the true fighting game engine to recognize it we should we should remem remember about the naming convention for this render targets and materials we should start the name with the name of our new character 
that we want to add to our character select menu. So if you remember that I have named this new character yellow spider. So let's type yellow spider and then we just type the underscore and RT capital letters and that's it. And now we just create a material for this render target. So we right click and we just select create material. Oh yes. And it names it automatically. And we save all. But before we run the game to see the menu, we should select the BP true FG yellow spider UE4 on our scene. And in its details tab, there is a special parameter named photo model, and we should enable it. It is a special parameter that tells the engine that our character is placed on a special map where the character is going to be captured for the menu, because uh, the scene capture component 2D can be pretty expensive, and we destroy it if you don't need it, same when we start an actual fighting game. And we run the game. Oh, and what happens? It doesn't work. And do you know why? We have created a material from the Yellow Spider RT, but this is a game material. You see, it differs from other materials in this folder. So we just quickly open up this uh, material. And at the left, in the details tab, we changed the material domain from the surface to the user interface. And at the graph, we connect the RGB to our photo. And we click apply and we save. And let's try it now. Uh huh. Now it does work. So we select the red mannequin as the left player and we select the yellow one as the right player all right and it does work well it looks pretty good how does it pass the variables uh, between the levels you know i have made a simple change and now all our local levels are getting the characters from the game instance bp there are two characters set by default, but when we select uh, the characters in our menu widget, these variables are being changed to the appropriate ones. So by default it is uh, the queen character and the mannequin U4 character. We just set the blueprint in the character blueprint to change the default characters and correspondent names queen and mannequin U4. And that's how does it work. And I remind you that this character select menu only works for the local levels. And how can we change a level to load after we select the character? In the next releases of the true FG, I am going to add a separate menu to select the levels. But for now, let's say we want to load this level local multiplayer example instead of the human versus ai that is currently being loaded so we just press f2 to copy the level name not to rename but to copy and after that we navigate to the character select widget blueprint and we select the start button and at the right you scroll down until we see this on clicked event. See? And here, here we see the event which happens when we click the start button. And here we see the level a level name variable. And we just change the name of the map to lot to other level name. Let's let's check it out. We save and compile and we run. And I select the mannequin UE4 and the mani as a right player. And yes, you see, another map has been loaded.
And that's it for today. Goodbye, have a nice day and see you next time.